Hello everyone, Nick of Street Pass Princeton here, playing more Fantasy Life. So let's get started right now. Uh, we met with the king, and we're going to be, uh, well, meeting with our master to become a fledgling. So this should be exciting. So it looks like we got some fish, we got some meat. Yeah, personally, I just love cooking, so I can't wait to meet my new master. Alfredo's Bistro. Cool! I actually have a co-worker named Alfredo, so, kind of funny. Uh, anyway, let's meet the cook master. I guess that's the cook master, obviously, because he's cooking. Flippity, flippity, flippity. What's that? Out of my kitchen. Flippity. I said out of my kitchen. Flippity. What? Come on, that's so important. Why do you think you're waltzing in my kitchen? Are you signing up for kitchen duty? What? So you think you can stand here? Here's a pan for starters. Obtain the frying pan. Cool! Don't expect me to hold your hand. I got bigger fish to buy. Show this kid how to make what you know. Uh, what's that? Uh, sizzle your fluff ball. I mean, that dish that blew up your last assistant's face. The one Sizzle remembers now. Sizzle, it's still licking the mess off his fur. Get to it then. And your new kid, uh, report to me back if you succeed. Uh, what, I wasn't talking to you, I mean my dish, here, and you surprised me. Okay, so, the fledgling cook. Welcome to Alfredo's Bistro. Alright, so, let's talk to Sizzle. Is glad to meet you. Sizzle would like to be the best cook you can be. Sizzle's the best sous chef here. There's a fancy way I'm t number two. Don't judge Alfredo too harshly. He's good, just overworked. He can't find a good existence. But you, I bet you'll be perfect. Yes, please bear with us. Sizzle will show you everything. You need to make carrot soup for Alfredo. I make a really good red curry carrot soup. You learned how to make red carrot soup. Our last season made a mess of it. Well, to tell you the truth, so did the previous 50. Sizzle, it's sure to be a nice soup, though. Let's begin. You're always free to use the counter, but you'll need to fetch carrots for the soup. Alfredo assists the freshest vegetables right from the farm. No one grows fresher vegetables than Giles down in South Castle. Go there and get some carrots. So ho Sizzle hopes he was clear enough. Good to make carrot soup. Okay, so we need to get some carrots for our carrot soup. So this should be exciting. Speak to Giles of South Castle. Awesome. Alright, so... Going down to the south... Okay, so we're in South Castle, and let's see here. Okay, so what brings you to my farm then? Uh, let's see. What brings you to my farm? Hmm. No need for some needs for some carrots. I'll be. You're trying to impress Alfredo, aren't you? Uh, that Freo's a pricky one. Um, let's see. Straight from the patch. Uh, shame to eat them. Uh, these veggies are my pride and joy. Uh, so... Okay. Best of luck. Obtain two characters. Uh, character. <laughs> Obtain two carrots. I'm kind of, uh, texting and, uh, playing at the same time. So I should not do that. Alright. Alright, so... So we just talked with Giles, and we're gonna get back. Okay, uh... West Castle. Alright, and we need to go up now. Alright, so... Alright, so, let's go to the cook. Alfredo's Bistro, cool! Okay, let's talk to Sizzle. Hopes that- Sizzle hopes that Giles won't be too grungy. Okay, it looks like you gave some characters. Good man, at least for the tailless type. Now Sizzle will show you the basics of cooking so you can make the carrot soup. Cooking learned. 
Okay. Egg and veggie cuisine learn. Okay, approach your workbench and choose and pra recipe. With practice, you will be able to make multiples of an item, and eventually make items automatically. You just like your three cooking skills to complete your recipe within the time allotted. Uh, finishing a recipe quickly will get you more items or items uh, better quality. If you run out of time, you won't you will fail, but you won't lose your item materials. Uh, use L and R and uh, A. Uh, okay. Sliding A, uh, A, okay, good. I don't have to use the touch screen, good, because I don't have my styles with me. Uh, start it behind the counter, and Sizzle almost forgot to tell you. Be sure to equip your frying pan first. Okay, so he said equip my frying pan. Let's go to the menu to equip it. Here. Okay. Tools. Okay, so, oh wait, did it not equip? Okay, skills, let's see here. Dagger skill. Cooking. Egg cuisine. Cool. Licenses. Okay, uh, cooking. Now you're cooking. Looks like we got some achievements for that. I like the music in the background. So now that we got our pan equipped, okay, let's go behind, uh, choose a recipe. We're gonna make the carrot soup. I make a really good red carrot soup. Uh, select an item craft. We're gonna make the carrot soup. Uh, carrots, let's begin. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Ugh, what did that do that for? Okay, I hold the A button down. Okay, got it. Okay, now go over. Okay, tap the A button. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, great. Alright, so looks like we finished it. Carrot soup complete! So I learned, I got some experience points. You finished the carrot soup, I bet it's excellent. I'll be the judge of that, give it to me. Hand it over carrot soup. Well, what a surprise, it looks delicious. It smells wonderful, but it's the taste that counts. I'll take a sip. Hmm. I declared bread worthy. Bread worthy? Alfredo, truly and honest. What a relief. When Alfred uh, says bread worthy, he's speaking from the heart. He loves your soup. I can't believe, I can believe it then. I can hardly believe it. May we have a second, uh, test. Pardon me, what is that tantalizing smell? A carrot soup unless I'm mistaken. Customer, you're not in Alfredo's kitchen. Please take a seat. We'll serve the soup soon. I must be allowed to sip now. Now, uh, my nose tells me it's a soup that's no equal. Leave now. Sizzle won't ask for that. The music is, is inspiring. I must cook at once. What dish could be worth much? Okay, may I use the kitchen for a format? For a moment? What do you think you are? Can't you see he's a cook? He's got a toque on his hat. Let's see what you can do. Okay, so... Now a pinch of this and a dash of that. Sizzle is amazed. You walk around with all these ingredients in your pocket. Yes, of course. What cook doesn't? Now a little more spice for a special sauce. Special sauce for a hamburger and voila! A sassy flip of the patty to finish it off. You see, quite simple, really. Simple? I couldn't do that. What do you call such a pampered burger? What else? A royal hamburger. Now can you do me the honor of tasting it? I bow to you, Patty. But Alfredo, you haven't even tasted it. His technique was excellent, but does it deserve my highest compliment? Yes, breadworthy? Breadworthy. Oh, I see. I've forgotten the bun. But in my pockets. Uh, the bun, stranger. Alfredo says breadworthy when he loves a dish. I see. The local kitchen lingo fascinating. I'll use it in my own culinary parlance. Ah, oh, yes. You do that, stranger. Now, may Sizzle ask you something? Sizzle noticed a fancy decoration on your kitchen apron. What is that? Good eye, Sizzle. That is the royal emblem. No, it can't be. Indeed, it is. I am the new cook at the castle. My name's Alan. Ah, royal hamburger. Now I understand. Only a maestro of mate can make it. Uh, please, I don't measure up to your excellence, chef. I am but a culinary wanderer. 
Well then, what brings you to my bistro? Buzz. Lots of buzz. What bees outside my bistro? Please tell Sizzle you, what you saw in there. Alfredo, can you see bees scaring off customers? No, Sizzle. Good buzz. Everyone at the castle can't stop talking about this bistro. What, the royals talk about Alfredo's? No, 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 that can't be. We've never set one's foot inside the castle. That may be, but they come here in disguise. Disguise? Yeah, they're just pulling your leg, leg Cecil. Now he'll say our new friend over there is the king himself. Certainly not, but I swear to you, Alfredo, you have you have uh, big fans at the castle. Seriously? I never fib about food. In fact, the good buzz about your bistro has never reached his ears. What ears? Whose ears? Who is he? Does he mean he? Are you telling me? Are you making that? Uh, oh, I'm feeling all wobbly in my ears. What is it? Alfredo, please, calm yourself. If you'll only let me get a word in, I'll tell you. Well then, who? The king himself, of course. Oh, oh. You learned how to make finest fluffy omelet. Alfredo, are you alright? Don't worry, Alfredo does this. He faints when he's too excited, or when he gets a great idea sometimes. What a shame! I've come to learn one of the specialties I can make. Uh, I'll be back on his feet. Uh, s please, sir, stay. I have one of Alfredo's recipes. Uh, I think Alfredo has something in mind. What was he trying to pass? Um, oh my gosh. Wait, omelet. Okay. This is the finest dish. Uh, Nick, uh, check your recipes. Please show us the omelet. Okay, so let's... Uh, chicken, eggs, cow's milk, and one more thing. Vine-ripe tomatoes. Okay, so... Sizzle joined your party. Okay. So we're gonna make the omelet, and then I think that's gonna be the episode. Okay. Let's go here. Okay. We got the chicken's egg right now. Bockety bock, Nick. Uh, your ch your chickenese is terrible. Could you repeat that? Bok bok bok. Uh, okay, just a bunch of bok. Should I pluck? Brothers. Okay. Bok bok bok. Get out of our coop. Bok 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 bok. Sizzle didn't. Oh, okay. Bok 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 bok. Chickens left something behind. Obtain chicken eggs. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. All right. We need cow's milk. Uh. This is gonna get ugly. All right, let's go to the cows area, and we're gonna need vine ripe tomatoes too. Personally, uh, in my omelet, uh, if I have an omelet, what would I put in it? Hmm, put a lot of things in it. I put like cheddar cheese, tomatoes, bell peppers, onions, and mushrooms. I, I do like spinach in it sometimes. Spinach is really good in omelet. Making me hungry right now. I haven't had breakfast yet. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay. Cow's milk. Moo. Need some milk? What was that easier than Sizzle thought? Yeah, that was definitely easier. Well then, only one ingredient. Just the tomatoes. Moo. Okay, what is that? Cow's milk. Okay, cool. So we got extra cow's milk. Alright. Alright, we need the tomatoes. I'm surprised I don't get the tomatoes from the farm. I thought tomatoes were grown... Oh no, at a farm. But maybe they're at the market. Okay, let's go to the shopping district. Here we go! Veggies for sale, fruit for sale, veggies for sale. Oh, are you looking for some produce? Sizzle and his friend are desperate. We need some vine ripe tomatoes, have any? Nope, sorry. I don't stock tomatoes. They're too hard to get. They all have all come all the Port Reco. Uh, they splatter in the, unless, uh, that's ridiculous. I can only afford to buy in bulk. So no tomatoes. Uh, you'll have to go to Puerto Rico. Okay, uh, I've got it. 
You got tomatoes? No, I remember who someone. Uh, his pocket stuff with something. He said. Okay. Uh, so someone from Port Rico has tomatoes. Uh, he was wandering toward off toward your bistro. Okay, great. I was thinking I was have to go through like a lengthy side quest. Speak to the wandering cook in Casale. His name is Potato. Oh, Pedro. What bad luck! So close and yet so far, I can smell the spices. Oh, you two have cooks. Uh, I will know. Cook's apron. Uh, yes, of course. Your apron also look. Uh, you seek tomatoes? Yes. Oh, yes. Tomatoes. I crave tomatoes. Oh, okay. A cow, I hope that compliment. Uh, tomatoes. Okay, Puerto Rico to eat. Not fair. Okay, it's our only. You mean our restaurant? Alfredo's Bistro! Well, by all means, in Puerto Rico, you two are close. Okay, uh, sizzle is populating. Hole in the wall. Sizzle takes no offense. It's our fault that your stomach is grumbling. We'll feed you soon. Yes, this would be nice. But if you're sizzle, then who's Alfredo? Certainly not your friend. Alfredo, uh, is in. Your master has trained you well if you're searching high and low for tomatoes. So we got some vine ripe tomatoes. Mmm, delicious. Okay, so let's get the vine ripe tomatoes that we got. Sizzle left the party, so now we're gonna go to Alfredo's Bistro. And we're gonna be cooking an omelet. Awesome. Okay, uh, choose a recipe. Okay. Fluffiest omelet. Okay. Begin. Let's begin! Chop, 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 Finest fluffy omelet complete. Cool! Sizzle likes the looks of your omelet, but now it's serving to our special customer! Okay, so the customer is right here. Hi, Pedro! Head over, finest fluffy omelet. At last, the finest fluffy omelet! Fluffy, yes, fine, we will see. But just smell those port puerto for tomatoes. Let's dig in, yes? Ah! I declare it the finest and fluffiest omelet I've ever eaten. Hurrah! Nom 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 nom. What bold flavor! The eggs are clearly from a chicken who's easily insulted. The cow from a generous cow. The milk from a generous cow. Crisp edges, yet not overcooked. Nicely handled in the frying pan. Finally, the sauce tangy, not too sweet. What sauce? I didn't make a sauce. Simmer to perfection. Top ingredients. Excellent recipe. And you, my young cook, Show great promise, yes, but what an evaluation. You could taste all that in just one bite. Well, you must be... I am merely glad to taste your work. I will savor this memory. Thanks. Among my top ten flavor tastes ever. You alone have come and made it in my wild to come all the way to Alfredo's Bistro. You deserve a reward, yes? 500 dosh. Awesome. What a talent you have, Nick. I look forward to seeing you grow as a cook. In Puer Port Puerto, our specialty is seafood. How about you try some of my recipes? Okay, we'll do them next episode. Uh, so if you ever see visit Puerto Puerto, you must do me the honor of kissing my kitchen. With that, I see you off. You might again, yes? Goodbye. How extraordinary. Do you realize that was? That was Pedro, Puerto Puerto's greatest chef. The owner of Cucina Rica? The very same. He said to have a highly developed sense of taste. I wish I'd realized it sooner, or that I hadn't clammed it up when I did it. But you, my new friend, are incredible. My new, in the new kitchen, uh, what an omelet. The sound of your cooking back there was music to my ears. You are new to this, aren't you? Such raw talent inspires the great heights. I must aim to be the best chef the castle has ever seen. Now I should thank you. How about some recipes? I'm no Pedro, but I have a thing or two of cooking meat. Meat cuisine learned. Okay, cool. I suppose rivals, since cooking can get competitive, but I'll have to work to work. To work. Uh, I better report to the castle. I might come back to share more of my recipes. Perhaps sometime when Alfredo's back. Good luck to you. 
what a time for you to shine. While Pedro visits and the castle such visit interest, Sizzle thinks you're a rising star. Sizzle thinks you deserve a nice break after all. Hold on there. Did I pass out again? You have at least gotten me pillows, all of Sizzle. Alfredo's awake. Such much uh, has happened, Alfredo. Did Okay, we talked to Alfredo again. Well, what happened? Must have been good or else I passed out. Sizzle can't believe our good luck. A cook from the castle has tasted your recipes. Uh, the king has heard of me? I couldn't. I feel dizzy. I Oh, I collapsed like a souffle. But we better hop to it. We should cook in my famous song. Alfredo and Nick already cooked him one. But how? We don't have vine-ripe tomatoes. I have to order them from my special supplier and we need fresh milk in. We spoke to the usual cow and chicken. And you won't believe how we got the tomatoes. Please tell me. That chef from Port... Re re uh, Port Puerto was here. Port Port Puerto? It was Pedro from Co Cochina Rica? Best of all, Nick has cooked the omelette for our special guest, and Pedro loved it. How did you do it? We barely explained even the basics to you, and then passed out. You've earned my respect, friends, so I open my kitchen and my respects to you. Okay, so we earned 100 stars for now you're cooking. And we rank up! Current rank is novice? Oh, fledgling, cool. Focus and dexterity, cool. You learned how to make fledgling level crafts. I'm not easily impressed, but you are a cook in my book. I gladly take you on as my assistant. With your help, we can make this beast a three- No, five star! Now keep your cooking and report back to me with any news of your achievements. I'll always have time for you, even if I'm cooked or passed out. Welcome, my friend. So we have finished the fledgling cook. Awesome! And we've uh, grown to level 2. Cool. Uh, let's save the game. And I'm going to end the episode here once I get to the screen. Alright, so, uh, well, well done. Uh, there's something about different to cook. Like you're glowing. Uh, the stars tribute. Stars are points earned in each different life. Complete various challenges to earn stars. Uh, as you earn stars, you'll rank for lives, and as you rank for lives, you'll be able to learn new and more techniques. Uh, on the license menu, you can check the challenges you're set by. Uh, okay, difficult challenges. Uh, your rank will affect certain conversations with your life. Be sure to have a Okay, cool. You still haven't shown me where you live. Let's head okay, we'll do that in a little bit. So, anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching, and this is Nick of Street Pass Princeton signing out. Be sure to leave a like, uh, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter, and Instagram. And uh, also, uh, next events are going to be Sonic Boom, and we have an event for Pokemon in December. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and this is Nick of Street Pass Princeton signing out. See you guys later. Bye!